Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you around the new International Engine A26. This is the new international design for trucks uh, from 2018 and up. So let's take a look around and see what they improve in the new design. Let's take a closer look to this part of the on this part of the engine. You see now it looks really clean. Now they change that, uh, that 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 round filter design for this the rectangle design. I like more this design because there is more room to work easily around here. So sec, uh, let's check it out around here in the intake side. Do you remember in the previous video I show you how bad was this part to work on it? Now look, this is a way better design. It's just a single pine connecting the EGR cooler to the intake side and just few sensors. I think it's still like for me a lot of sensors. I don't know why, but still it's a better design than the older one. So we have in here, for example, as you can see there, we have the doser block. You see, they changed the design too. Now you see the, the connections, they're easier to take it they're easier to take it off, right? And you have your air compressor over there. And now it's a, like a, it's a one single piston and it's le less heavier than the other one. The, the, the older one has a dual piston, it was heavier. But this one is way better than the older one because it saves weight. I think it com everything comes down to improve fuel efficiency. So that's good. You see now, you can change easily this fuel filter. This one always here, has been here, the, always has been here, so it's good. Now, you see there's nothing around here that gets in your way to do the PM, at least to change the fuel filters. The, the, now the MCM is easier to look, easier to remove. I believe the harness uh, is like a, you can say, easier to see not to remove to see and you have your fuel pump in here you see nice now this seems like a, there's a lot of way better room than before easily to you know to reach those hard areas over there so I like it they actually improved this side on the engine I like that and as you can see now the fine has a belt in the older design it didn't it didn't have a belt it was a i think a, a magnetic fan or a mercury fan that just wore by itself it didn't need the uh fan not it needed need the belt sorry and you see now it seems like a simpler design i like it I, I feel they really improved this design compared to the older one so as far as you can see on this side everything looks more cleaner simple to do if you want to do some work it seems like i'm going to be less time consuming than before before they have a, like a, a lot of accessories and like a really hard time to remove things so that's good even the priming pump comes in a better uh, sorry you have grease in my hand right now let me clear it clean it a little bit okay so you see now you see, uh, this priming pump is easier to reach and easier to use all right so those are the things there as far as i can see right now they updated on this new design so i'm glad the international heard their uh, customers and they actually improve it now let's check the other side of the engine All right, this is the other side of the engine. Let me take a overview. You see the uh, the coolant reservoir is still the same, which is good. All right, uh, but I <laughs> there's something I never understand about international. The I don't know. You see all this long pipe way from the turbo to here. But okay, still I I don't mind. It's just like a international has been always doing this instead to push the engine a little bit forward to the front 
they always keep it way to the back even if the if even if the chassis allow them to do it a little bit forward so okay i guess that's the way it is right so you see uh uh, we, uh washer fluid is still in the same place uh they get rid of the spinner filter in the older international the spinner oil filter goes around here so maybe they just thought why you're gonna put two fil oil filters i think one is enough so that's good uh you see the egr cooler now goes in a better place than the other one which i like it i really like the change that that stupid design way complicated uh you can see now the this is the crankcase the oil crankcase breather behind this harness uh seems like a, a little bit easier to remove not sure about it so it has something to be seen this is the oil filter so it seems like uh um cascadia design or oh, that sorry bd15 design but i'm glad that they, re they really improved it and the main the main improvement i can see is the turbo you see now it has a, a single turbo since like now it's easier to work on it so i like that i really like it you can see now the seven injector over there now that's nice and you see the knock sensor it, it seems like a, they improved so much the design then now yeah i can say as technician the yeah it seems like a couple of things can be easier than before to work on these design so glad to that uh you see egr bulb goes way down up there that's the egr bulb over there so yeah i like it I, it seems like international finally got it a little bit better let's see how it works in the long run this is a new truck this it has like a, probably like 500 miles only guys so let's see what happened at the end right uh you can see the starting model over there in the older design seems like a pain to change the starter i never had the opportunity to change it but like damn it seems like a so complicated but now it seems like a more technician friendly you can call it like that and all this space looks completely free where before they have like a one cooler here for the for the turbos and it has like a, another things in here i'm like wow but compared to the older one like yeah it looks really good in the front the only improvements as i told you guys the only thing different i can see is just the the fan it's just the the fan is different now the fan clutch but anything else in the front looks the same so in in all in few words international improved the design just changing the accessories around the engine they didn't change the core but they changed all the things that go around it so i'm glad the international did that because that was the that were the main problem essentially all the other internationals there we have like a 10 maybe two have engine problems and the other ones were pretty much uh other things like transmission or maybe accessories around but the core engine were uh, were okay so i'm glad the international did that and as I told you guys, this is the major improvement, the turbo. They, they changed the twin turbo for a single turbo and I think, I think that's the best they could do on it. So, uh, with World International and let's see how this engine does at the end. And as always guys, if you have any questions about these newer engines, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer to you guys. Thank you and have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.